Welcome back to the channel. Today we are exploring a crucial topic for every backend engineer. Building a reliable payment system with robust payment retry mechanism. If your system handles payments, you know it's essential to prepare for failures like network issues, temporary bank glitches, and even expired cards. In this video we will discuss how to properly handle payment retries to ensure smooth the transactions and avoid any duplicate charges. First, why payment retry matters. Any system that handles payment needs to be both reliable and fault tolerant. When a payment fails, whether due to a temporary outage or an invalid card, we need a strategy to retry the transaction without accidentally charging the customer multiple times. A well-designed retry mechanism can help maintain business continuity and user trust. The second thing that we need to talk about, which is the tracking payment status. So, a critical component of a retry system is the tracking payment status. Each transaction should have a status, helping your bank your back end decide whether to retry, refund, or escalate. Here we have common statuses you might encounter. First, we have the initiate. The payment request has been received, but isn't processed yet. Next, we have processing. Processing the payment is in progress with the gateway. Next, we have succeed. The payment completely is completed successfully. We have fail. The payment attempt failed for some reason. Here we have pending retry. The payment failed but is scheduled for retry attempt. We have refund. The payment was successfully but later returned to returned to the customer. And lastly we have cancelled. The payment was cancelled before it could even process. This status allow your system to properly handle each step of the payment life cycle. Not only does it keep your uh, process organized, but it also provide a paper tail for debugging and dispute um, resolution. Okay. The next thing that we need to talk about will be the append-only database approach. Like, one best practice is to store payment status in an append-only table. In an append-only database, you can to modify or delete existing data, only add new entries. This approach ensures accuracy and makes troubleshooting much easier. But because you always retain a complete history of the status changes. We can give an example for you guys. Let me add a code block here. This is an example that we can look at. We have here the ID. Um, the ID is uh, the primary key. We have payment ID, reference the transaction. We have the status uh, code, which holds the uh, current status like initial or in, 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 initiati um, initiated or failed. We have the created ad, which is records the timestamp for the status update. Um, using this approach, you append a new row each time the status changes, preserving the entire transaction um, uh, timeline. Next, let's let put the text here. Next, we need to talk about the building retry strategy. Okay. So uh, the building retry strategy, first we have when we have like, um, let's assume that we have, we have a, 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 like a fails occur, a failure occur. Occur. 
chords occurs. Okay. We need to ask ourselves, is this failure retriable? If it is yes, if the answer is um, is uh, is yes, let me put text on this one. We will put in the retry queue. But let's assume that the answer was no. If the answer was no, we basically, um, we, we just save it in the database. We save that, yeah, the payment was denied in the database and that's it. Okay. If we have in the retry uh, 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 in the retry queue, we will send it again to the payment service. Okay. If if another failure occurred again, we ask ourselves: Is this failure retriable? If it is retriable, we send it back to the retry queue. If it's not retriable, we save it in the dead letter queue. And if, again, it's not retriable here, the database should save it in the dead letter queue. Okay, so we, we have to have some building a retry strategy. First, we need to set retry limits. Like you don't want to retry infinitely like implement a maximum retry count to avoid endless hitting failing uh, payments. Number two, we need to delay and, um, and um, exponential pack off. So we need to introduce a wait time between the tries, like often this done with um, a back off, like one minute, two minutes, three minutes, something like that, to reduce the load on external gateways and give time for transit issues to resolve. Number three, we need to have item potency. We need to make sure that your, point, your payment logic is item potent. That means repeating the same request won't accidentally create multiple uh, uh, charges. Four, we need to have logging and monitoring, like keep detailed logs of free try attempts. Use monitor tools to keep track of success failure rates so you can catch issues early, okay? So um, I guess that we need to make like, um, um, like a, a wrap up. Like some wrap up. So to sum it up, um, payment retries are a vital part of um, any pack in system de um, dealing with financial transactions by tracking payment status in an append-only database and implementing a careful retry strategy, you will build a system that's both resilient and secure. Remember to log everything, monitor your retries, and always design for IT potency to avoid uh, double charging. Thanks for watching this video and see you in future videos.